Big developments in the city and county's efforts to fix the flooding problem plaguing the Houston area. Good evening. I'm Lauren Freeman. I'm Bill Bias. Here are the headlines to this story. Houston Mayor Turner revealed today that the city is going to borrow $43 million from the state of Texas in order to jumpstart flood control projects on Bray's Bayou in areas hard hit by flooding. Now, the projects along White Oak and Hunting Bayous will eventually follow. The city is going to be reimbursed by the federal government to repay that state loan. And there's one more significant announcement today affecting Meyerland, a project to help more than 40 homeowners raise their homes, is finally moving forward. But Channel 2 Investigates has learned progress will be slow, taking years to complete. Investigator Joel Eisenbaum has been pressing the mayor's office for answers. Joel, this is a mixed bag we understand for Meyerland residents. Lauren, if you live on this street, it's Bray's Heather here in Meyerland. It's certainly a bag of something because if you're on the tail end of this list to elevate homes, you are now counting the time it'll take in years rather than months. And that's tough to take for these guys. Uh, it's going out for contracts, for pre-bidding contracts. With respect, Mayor, I've heard that many times. I'm September. one of the 42. I'm trying to, I know. Tired of what they're convinced is bureaucratic red tape. Tuesday, a few fed-up homeowners let Houston's mayor have it. I've, but I've heard that. Have it in September. But if you, if you listen to me, I can't, I, you know. What flood-weary Meyerland residents want are the FEMA dollars they were promised to elevate 42 homes that are constantly underwater. Item 26, in favor of post granted on 26. City leaders agreed to accept that nearly $15 million last September, but as Channel 2 Investigates has highlighted, there's been questionable progress. I understand we missed a deadline early on. We've had plans kicked back to the city. I mean, do you feel like you have the right people on this for the city? Yeah, it is being coordinated. In fact, I just had a conversation on it this morning. We pressed the mayor Monday for a more concrete timeline. And Tuesday morning, the city finalized the agreement to receive those funds. A measure of progress, but it ain't over yet. Now we have the green light to go out for, con for the contractors, the pre-bid contractors, to have the houses raised. With respect, that was approved as of this morning with by the respect, Texas. So the, the houses in our neighborhood that have been paid for cash have been elevated I in four days a year I'm ago. I'm telling you that the Texas Water Development Board approved it this morning. And so to the mayor's credit, his office this afternoon did forward us that detailed timeline we requested, and we've posted it tonight on click2houston.com. The thing that stands out to me is that they're only going to do 10 houses at a time, and that could slow down the process by years. We're live in Meyerland tonight. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right.